The Supreme Court has called for data from the Center on Purchase History of all three vaccines, Covishield, Covaxin and uh, Sputnik V. The top court has also remarked the policy of the center when, where it conducted free vaccination for groups in the first two phases and then allowed private hospitals to charge people in the 18 plus category is arbitrary and irrational. Let me go across to Minakshi joining us for more details here. Minakshi, if you can take us through what the top court has said uh, on these uh, issues, which are obviously at this point in time extremely contentious, uh, uh, if you can take us through the details. Well, yes, I mean, you see, uh, we'll uh, provide some context to what has happened. The uh, uh, thing that has happened is this, that the Supreme Court Suomoto hearing order was not uploaded. The order has now been uploaded on the Supreme Court website, and it provides significant details of uh, what the Supreme Court expects for the government to furnish in its affidavit, which is supposed to be filed in two weeks' time. Like you rightly mentioned at the outset, the Supreme Court is asking for the central government to file an affidavit giving complete data on the purchase history of all the vaccines till date, which includes Covaxin, Covishield, and Sputnik, and dates of procurement orders for all these three vaccines, the quantity of vaccines ordered as on each date, and the projected date of supply. These are the specific details the Supreme Court wants. And importantly, Supreme Court also asked for the central government to clarify how the budgetary allocation of 35,000 crores uh, in the union budget for procuring these vaccines have been spent thus far and why they cannot be utilized for vaccinating people aged between 18 to 44 years age group. But significantly, like you rightly mentioned, the Supreme Court has gone on uh, to note in this particular order to say this, that prima facie it is arbitrary and irrational on part of the center's policy to allow free vaccination of health workers, frontline workers, and those in 45-plus age group, but permit private hospitals to charge those in the category of 18 to 45 years of age group. So that noting is hugely significant because the Supreme Court is saying that prima facie, it appears to be arbitrary and irrational. That apart, another significant observation coming out from this 30-page judgment of the Supreme Court is this, and I quote, our constitution does not envisage courts to be silent spectators when constitutional rights of citizens are infringed by executive policies, unquote. So uh, this is another huge uh, development coming in, in this order from the Supreme Court, where the court we had brought in the course of the hearing, how it had frowned upon the differential vaccine pricing policy. Specifically, Justice Ravindra Bhatt had observed to the central government that the Supreme Court will be examining the constitutional validity of these policies of vaccine procurement and differential pricing. And if it is found to be constitutionally valid, the Supreme Court will leave the matter there. But in order to be able to do so, I mean, remember, the Supreme Court has to go through all the details. But to seek these details in affidavit is uh, tantamounting to bringing those details on record, which thus far the central government has been hesitant to do. So, therefore, this order assumes a lot of import given the fact that specific details have now been sought by the Supreme Court uh, from the central government to be brought on record.